Welcome, here's his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add Cody to the portable emulation station build that I gave you guys. Uh, what's really nice about this is it's very easy um, and it's going to set you up real fast. This Cody is portable as well, same with your games. So when you install this version of Cody, it's going to go right into your emulation station build. You don't have to worry, you can take it on a USB stick. Uh, I would recommend an external hard drive, uh, it just runs faster, USB sticks aren't the fastest. But I mean, if you do, if you want to use a thumb drive, uh, feel free. And this Cody, you would just take it like you do with your portable game station, and you would just take it and put it anywhere you want. Um, I'm going to put a link to my build at the end of the video, so if you don't have that build yet, go ahead and check it out. Um, there's a how-to. I also have another video on how to add ROM packs to your build. This time, this video is focusing on adding Cody. This is the newest version of Cody. It's going to be included in with my, it's going to be with the dot emulation station dot zip. Uh, once you extract this, it's only 78.5 kilobytes. Once you extract it, it's like 97.2. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to extract, you would ex right click, extract here. Um, you're going to get a folder like this. And all you want to do is take this folder and we're going to cut. You're going to go to where you have your portable game station 1.5 go in here and then we're gonna right click and paste it now if it asks you to replace any files say yes okay so the next thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to go online and download the newest version of Cody or any version of Cody that you want um, you would just type in Google Cody and just go to downloads if you guys are familiar with Cody, you already know all this. Um, and then you'd click Windows. Once you click Windows, it'll say Windows Store Installer or the Nightly Installer. I just get the Release Installer. Um, I already have it downloaded. So I'm going to close out of that. And I'm going to go to my Downloads folder. We're going to go down to Cody. Now what we're going to do is click we're going to click next I agree next now this is where we want to change the destination folder so we're going to hit browse and we're going to go to where we have our portable game station I have mine on the root of C we're going to go into dot emulation station we're going to go to systems and then we're going to go to Cody we're going to hit OK now I like to double check and make sure that it's all good so this is what it should look like uh, for you whatever drive you have your portable game station on will be I'll show you here it's not really there so I have mine on C it's in my portable game station 1.5 dot emulation station systems Cody and that's it so once you've done that click next and I click do not create shortcuts because it's a portable version you could use shortcuts if you wanted to I'm not going to that's your preference uh, we're gonna go ahead and click install now depending on the speed of your computer um, will be how long Cody actually takes to install initially I was going to include the Cody installer with my dot emulation station uh, zip but you guys can just get it for free from the Cody website um, I, I there may be a newer version by the time you see this video or you want to use uh, Cody 16.1 you want to use Jarvis instead of Krypton so whichever whichever Cody build you prefer so I'm not going to include it for you guys but like I said I showed you a little earlier there just Google Cody and you'll be up and running in no time um, this is the longest part of the process uh, basically it's it's uh, run a little slow on my computer um, my computer is not the greatest as I've mentioned in previous videos uh, but once this is complete, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go, if you're done, we're going to go into our portable emulation station. And we're going to launch it. Now, I'll just launch windowed. Um, 
OBS seems to run a little better when I launch windowed. I just hope that this finishes up uh, sooner rather than later. Uh, I apologize it's taking so long, but I didn't want to already have it installed and, and then like tell you what to do. I'd, ra I'd rather just go ahead and do the steps with you guys so that way you can see exactly how I'm doing it and you can do it exactly the same. Um, so you're yeah, I mean this is this is something that there's no builds installed like the pulse build or um, the zero tolerance build and stuff like that. You can go ahead and install that and what's really nice is even when you take if you have Kodi uh, in your emulation station portable and you take this to a different computer, um, it's all going to stay installed. Nothing is installed directly to your programs files like you would in, like you would normally install Kodi. It's all going to be um, on your stick within your emulation station, your portable game station folder. Um, so to hold all your settings, your favorites, um, you know, your add-ons that you install, all that kind of stuff, and. That's pretty much it as far as it goes. I'm going to show you it running. Um, when I did run it off of this USB stick, and this isn't a very fast USB stick, I did get uh, Kodi stopped working once. The first time I ran it from this USB stick. Every other time I've run it since then, no problems. And I think what it was was like a read-write issue because this is a slow stick. That's why I always recommend with my builds either use a partition on your drive or use an external hard drive but I mean if you if you want this to, on the on the thumbstick as on the go it it does work I mean I just don't recommend it unless you've got a high-speed thumbstick this this one here is just junk I mean it's 128 gig it's got the space I want but as far as speed and performance it's horrible USB 3.0 it, it doesn't seem like it, it seems like 1.1 1 .1. Um, so I wouldn't recommend that uh, Lexar, Lexar, I don't even know what it is, Lexar POS, okay guys, so you're going to get to here once it's done, and you, you want to leave that unchecked, click finish, and now I'm going to launch my portable game station, Now this this is uh, the exact same setup I showed you guys adding Atari 7800. Um, the only thing that I've modified to this since then was this this portable Cody. Um, so we're gonna go over, and now you should have Cody in your list. We're gonna click it. Here's Cody. We're gonna click it as if you were launching a game. And here is Cody 17.1 Krypton. First thing you're going to want to do, if you want to control Cody using your controller, um, what we're going to do is we're going to take our mouse first time. We're going to go to the gear, the settings gear. We're going to go over to system settings. And we're going to go down here where it says standard. And we're going to just click it to expert. Um, now, we don't need any expert features. I just it's better to have it on there in case you ever run into an issue and you're looking something up and you're like I don't have those options uh, with expert on you have every option available uh, for the most part so we're gonna go to input now and we can go to configure attached controllers so this is this is the Xbox 360 layout as you can see now I'm using my Super Nintendo controller so mine are a little different um, but basically there's your A, B, X and Y buttons for your for your Xbox. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, set this up my way, and you would you would do the same. So you just click it, press the button, move on to your next button, then your next button, next button, start back. Now I don't have a guide button, so I'm just going to let the countdown go. There we go. Now we want to do up, right, down, left, and now if I move my mouse away. You can see I'm controlling it with the controller now. So I don't have a left stick or a right stick, but I do have an L button. So I'll, you would uh, just click it, L, R, and I don't have any trigger buttons. So that's pretty much it. Now your controller is configured within Kodi. Click OK. 
and to select something would be your A button on 360, X if you're using PS3, to back up, uh, it would be circle on PS3, or B on your 360 controller. So you don't need your mouse anymore, unless you prefer to use a mouse in Cody, that's totally up to you. Um, and here we are. So I have nothing installed yet. It's uh, This is the same as you, we're a fresh install. Um, I'm not going to go into installing Cody builds and stuff like that. There's a ton of people doing that already on YouTube. Uh, ABYST, I follow him. Uh, I, I'm subscribed to his channel. He's really, really good. He's up to date. I mean, he posts videos quite often. Very, very knowledgeable about Cody, builds, everything everything there is to know about that kind of stuff. So check out his channel uh, if you want to look into more into Cody. So if we were to go to the power button, select it, and we're just going to hit escape, uh, exit. And we're now back in emulation station. Um, and we can go ahead and play games or we can go back and launch Cody. So there we go. So again guys, uh, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, hopefully you enjoy this, hopefully it helps you. Uh, have a good day.